It seems that Pakistan is finally waking up to the surgical strikes truth and the truth about global isolation. The Pak media has reported that the Pakistani government met army officials and has sent out a message to not shield terrorists. Aditya Rajkol joins us with more details. So there is a clear civilian versus military divide brewing in Pakistan. That's right, Anand. This is the latest we are gathering from Pakistan. A rattled Pakistan perhaps might take some steps after the civilian government has conveyed to the military not to interfere in the actions of the counter-terrorism department or the local uh, law enforcement agencies. If you remember, Anand, Times Now had first reported that after the crackdown on the jesh e mohammed and its uh, key al rahmat Foundation, which was collecting funds uh, to wage a so-called jihad against India and Afghanistan, uh, there was some action by the counter-terrorism department. The raids were conducted all across Pakistan, but the military had interfered Rahil Sharif had met Nawaz Sharif and conveyed that this cannot happen. Now, yet again, information trickling in that on Monday, Foreign Secretary had briefed the Prime Minister and other important people on the situation in Kashmir and Pakistan's foreign policy. On Tuesday, there were two meetings, one of the National Security Committee and the National Action Plan, in which Nasser Janjua, who is the National Security Advisor of Pakistan, and also Rizwan Akhtar, the DG ISI, were present. They informed the mil military, uh, apart from the civilian ad administration, on the developments that have taken place after India's surgical strike and in that particular meeting there was a war of words between Shahbaz Sharif who is of course a senior functionary uh, as we all know in the government uh, and also DG of the ISI Rizwan Akhtar. So this clearly signifies that the military and the civilian government are not on the same page while there is some hidden uh, you know, uh, agenda of the military uh, which is almost clear now by this uh, uh, approach and on the other hand even if the civilian government or the counter-terrorism department needs to act against the terrorists they have been stopped by the military. So what the plan now is the civilian government has firmly told the military and the ISI that both Nasir Janjua and Rizwan Akhtar will travel to all the four provinces of Pakistan to convey to the ISI and the military leadership not to interfere in the daily raids, the daily investigation of the counter-terrorism department and the local law enforcement agency. This is a massive embarrassment coming in for the Nawaz Sharif government because this again displays the real power center of Pakistan is in Rawalpindi inside GHQ and it is Rahil Sharif who is ruling Pakistan, not Nawaz Sharif.